Hi, welcome to the Pink Moon Tarot. I am Nikki, the Pink Moon Tarotist, and I am here to give a general reading for the month of October for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign of Sagittarius. Now, as I say, these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everybody. So please do feel free to pick up anything that does and leave the rest behind. And if you know your Moon, your Rising or your Venus, then you can always check those out. They will all be linked in the description box below. Now, before we get into the reading, I would like to say a big thank you to everyone who has already subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, please do consider doing so. All your likes, your shares and your subscriptions help me to get seen um, and help my videos to uh, get the views on, uh, on YouTube. And it really does help me to grow as a channel and as a content creator. And I truly appreciate it because there are people out there that may need to see these messages and the more likes and shares and su subscriptions I get, the more YouTube is likely to promote my videos. So beautiful Sagittarius. This might be a month of a bit of self-reflection. Your overall energy for this month is the Hermit card. Now the Hermit shows up when um, you're needing that spiritual guidance. You're needing to go within, um, you know how when in the olden days the, the 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 person who everybody kind of went to for advice would be that that weird person that lived off somewhere in the middle of nowhere, um, you know, sort of was isolated from the rest of the world. That's that's the hermit, you know. And sometimes we need to go into hermit mode and we need to go within so that we can find our light. We can find our sense of self. We can get our downloads. We can um, we can reflect on what is going on around us and we can find our purpose and our meaning. And then when we're ready, we can come out and shine that light for the rest of the world and share it with the rest of the world and be that useful um, member of society that, uh, that you know, you want to be. So, that's your overall energy. Your overall energy is one of introspection, of going within, of taking time to discover your truth, discover your purpose, discover yourself. So let's see how that plays out in the rest of the cards. So Sagittarius, what else do they need to know? Okay, and we have temperance. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Oof. <laughs> okay, and we have the Eight of Pentacles that flew out across the floor. Sorry about that. Um, and it's in the reverse. Which may explain the Hermit. And we have the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> I wait for jumpers and flippers from the pack. Um, if they don't jump out or flip out, then I will choose. But I usually like fate to choose for me. So that's why it takes a little bit of time. So we have the magician and we have the six of swords. Well, this is good. This is good. You have three major arcana, including your overall energy so far. Three for three. Have the Ten of Swords. Okay. That's a very odd combination of tens there. We have the High Priestess. More in a reflection. We have the Page of Cups. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. This is good. So... <clears throat> delving in like i say the hermit your overall energy is one of needing to get that time to go within to separate yourself from any like negative influences you know if you can if you can take time away from the news from um people in your life that are constantly moaning and and you know they they just always seem to have a problem if you can take time to 
just spend time with yourself, with your own thoughts and introspection, then that's going to really help you this month, okay? Um, and sometimes we need to isolate from, uh, from negative energies because we're feeling, sorry, I've got a hair. Because we're feeling, sorry about that, because we are feeling a little bit overwhelmed and that's kind of the sense I'm getting here. Um, <clears throat> now it's really interesting. You have two tens. Tens are a completion, okay? And it means that something is is coming full circle, if you like, it coming coming into being. And they couldn't be two more opposite tens if you wanted. We have the ten of cups and the ten of swords. Now the ten of cups is that love and abundance your cup is overflowing that love coming together and then the ten of swords is that you know the um the swords have have stabbed you in the back you're feeling that loss you're feeling that uh that uh that sense of something that has that has dropped you know um like the nine of swords is the is the card of of worry and stress and nightmares and all that sort of stuff and then it clicks over into the ten of swords and you see the in the right away you see the the soldier laying down on the floor and the ten swords are stuck in his back so it's that literal feeling of being stabbed in the back now as i say the good thing about the tens is they are a completion and the ten of swords means <clears throat> that you know what you're dealing with you know and that's the thing i want you to hold on to here you know what you're dealing with We'll get back to it, <clears throat> but it's also a chance for you to heal and you can heal in a really beautiful way because your cup, cups are filled. You know, the love is there, the abundance is there, that sense of, you know, being over the rainbow, being, being in a good place is right above that ten of swords. <clears throat> and we also have the six of swords there, which you know, is, is going to help. Now, the one that I'm, I'm thinking here with the Hermit card, this has something to do with this Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. The Eight of Pentacles, when it's in the upright, is where you've been working on, um, working on something, you know, and you've been, it's, it's basically, it's knocking out the pentacles. It's work, 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 and seeing the, the, um, fruition, the the stuff come to fruition, seeing the fruits of your labor starting to come into effect. And when it's in the reverse, this tells me that some of you have been feeling like you've been working really hard and you've been trying and doing everything that you you think you need to do, doing a lot of effort, putting in a lot of effort, putting in a lot of work and <clears throat> You're feeling a bit stuck, like the like it's not paying off, like you know um, you're not seeing the results that you were expecting to see, and that can that can make you feel very stilted. Eights are about movement, and the Eight of Pentacles is that moving through the working, you know, like keeping knocking out the Pentacles. And when it's in the reverse, it's it's like you're kind of going oh what's the point you know I've been doing all this and it and nothing's happening what's the point that kind of energy that energy of feeling stuck and it may be tied in to this feeling stabbed in the back this feeling that the world has been against you that somehow maybe a colleague has been undermining you or you know, uh, you've gone for a promotion time and again and not got it or, you know, a project you've done has failed and you feel like someone has has put a, a block in front of you and it's not down to you, it's down to them and, you know, and you're feeling that sense of um, feeling, you know, just feeling a bit stuck and feeling a little bit drained. That's what I'm getting from this, feeling drained, feeling 
exhausted through all the effort that you've put in and not seeing it paying off. Now, what I love about this, you know, the hermit does say, go within, find the answers within yourself, take time for introspection. But you also have the temperance card here. And temperance is that card of balance. So there's a balance that is needed here between your work and your family. These are the three that came out together. So you had temperance first, then this one, and then this one, okay? So the temperance card is, is coming up to show that there is that need for balance. But temperance is also, the, the angel of temperance is playing with the energies. You can see here that he's got the sun in one hand, the moon in the other, but he's kind of juggling them. He's playing. He's enjoying those energies and he's keeping them in balance because he's playing with them. And there's an element of that needed here for you. Um, an element of, of, of shifting your energy. That's what I'm trying to say. Shifting your energy by playing with the energies, by having fun with it, by just letting things flow. And, um, you know, and it's, it's that balance of yin and yang, of light and shade, of, of positive and negative. It's, it's the it's the flow of life and the angel of temperance is there to bring you that sense of balance and that sense of peace and that sense of the ability to play and have fun with the energies, okay? And that's going to help you to remove this feeling stuck, this feeling like whatever you're working on is not going well and to fill your cups back up. Tens, like I say, are a completion. We have the Ten of Cups here. The Ten of Cups is showing that that whole, whole um, emotional uh, fulfillment. And that's to do with family, to do with love, to do with, you know, um, the, the close connections in your life. It's not... It's not so much to do with the wider, the greater. It's to do with the, with the close connections in your life. And that sense of love and that sense of fulfillment comes from those people closest to you that give you that support and give you that love. And you can feel that sense of support around you. Um, but also... Because you do have this hermit card as well as your overall energy, I would also recommend that you, you don't just try to do everything to please your loved ones. You know, this is about you, you giving time to nurture yourself, to care for yourself, to love yourself in order to be able to be a better and more effective member of your family, of your, your relationships. Because if you, if you are filled, if your cup is filled up, if you are, are feeling happy and satisfied and, and full of love, then you can share that much better with the people around you that you love. And that will give you that sense of being over the rainbow, being in that sense of, you know, this beautiful, loving connectivity. Okay, now we also have here the magician underneath the temperance. And the magician tells me that you have all the skills, all the knowledge, everything you need in order to make the magic in your life. Play with that energy, you know. Play with it because you can make the magic. You also have, the magician is number one, and you also have number two, the high priestess. And the high priestess is the knowledge. And, you know, when you get the two together, it shows me that there's a progression going on within you here. You have the skills, you have the wisdom, you have the abilities, you have the tools that you need to make your magic, to bring into being the things that you want. It's all there within you. And the high priestess, the next step along, is tapping into that source energy, tapping into that 
um, to your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your higher self, whatever it is that you believe, taking time to get those downloads. You can see the downloads coming into her crown chakra here. She has the moon on her forehead, um, on the top of her head, sorry, because she is she is the high priestess so she doesn't tell you what it is she sees she doesn't speak and when she does speak she speaks in tongues you know it's all about the hidden the unknown the unseen but it's about that connectivity to your higher self you can see here she's got her eyes closed i don't know if you can see that very well she's got her eyes closed but there are eyes painted on her eyes so even with her eyes closed she still sees everything and knows everything so this is about you having that connection and playing with it playing with those energies and really taking the time to work out what you're capable of who you are how to love you how to love the world how to share it all you know it it's uh, like I say you have the hermit here and he slots in or she in this instance slots in between the magician and the high priestess and temperance so you have this real progression going on here within this reading of this spiritual connection of this um ascending to a higher level of you know getting getting the information that you need and the really interesting thing is in the center of the reading you have the six of swords and the six of swords is that indication that help is coming in a timely fashion. And that's help from your spirit guides, help from your source energy, help from your higher self. But help is there if you ask for it. So if you are, if you have a question, if you are stuck, if you have something that you need to know and you need to understand, ask. Ask during meditation ask your guardian angels your higher self your source energy whatever you believe your spirit guides ask ask them for the help that you require what questions do you have write them down in a journal and then you know meditate for a little while and see what comes out you know see what you journal about see what happens there's a real sense here for me of this need to to gain some understanding, but also to play with it. There is this lovely, joyous, you know, abundant feeling around this. And it's it's absolutely gorgeous. You know, with that 10 of cups, that is such an abundant feeling of love and, um, and com connectivity and communication and, you know, things just, your cups being overflowing with, with joy. And, you know, that's a beautiful, beautiful energy to have there. So there is something that you need to heal from. There is some shadow work to be done here. That's something that you need to heal yourself from, that you need to get over. Is there something that you, you know, something from your past, some old story that you're repeating that you need to heal from? Is there someone in your life that's maybe a bit toxic that you need to just not have communication with, even if it's just for a week or two? You know, there is something here that needs healing, that needs looking into, which you will see in that hermit mode of going within and that high priestess mode of connecting and getting those downloads. And then you can use the power of the magician to make your magic and create the world that you want. And you can use that temperance energy of playing with the energies of really just finding that sense of equilibrium and being in sync with the universe, you know, and, and it's a beautiful, beautiful feeling. I'm really getting that sense of, oh, this is just, this is just lovely. Um, and it's not all rainbows, you know, nothing ever is. But once you get that, that shadow stuff seen to and out of the way, you will start to feel feel that love and that joy coming in and we also have the page of cups and the page of cups is the messenger of love he's bringing you an offer of love and this 
can be self-love. It can be love between you and the divine. It can be love of what you're doing. Um, but it is an offer of love. It is an offer to love and to be loved. And that's a beautiful offer to have. It's also a youthful energy. Pages are youthful. So it is It is new and it's exciting and it's, it's you know, it's just kind of uplifting. It's not, it's not that hot and heavy love. You know, I'm not talking about some some relationship love that's that's you know been around forever this is this is new love this is something that is going to give you that sense of self love and self love is very important very very important and it doesn't mean you're selfish it doesn't mean you're conceited you know i'm not talking about you going and looking the, looking in the mirror and going hey i'm awesome i'm the best thing in the world and screw you you know it's not that kind of thing it's not being conceited it's about it's about knowing your worth knowing that you deserve and understanding that and understanding your own value in this world and within your family and we also have the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is that most satisfied of all the queens. You know, I mean, look at her face. She is that sense of family. She is, you know, she is like my minor arcana version of the Empress. She is, she is birth. She is creation. She is creating what you want into being and giving you it in abundance. There's so much abundance here. I cannot express that enough. But she is she is more homely. So it's like it's yes, it's that earthy energy that get yourself grounded, get your your feet into the earth, get, sink your toes into the sand, walk in the water, whatever it is, you know, get yourself grounded, go and hug a tree. Um but uh connect with nature connect with the the earth and feel that sense of of peace of connectivity of joy of abundance coming in and also know that financial abundance comes with this you know pentacles also represent money and this is tied in with with wealth in in so many areas it's not just material wealth it's it's the wealth of love the wealth of satisfaction and the wealth of, that comes from connectivity from being who you're meant to be this is an interesting month for you sagittarius you know this is a month of stepping up of feeling your sense of alignment and that's that's just beautiful okay <clears throat> let's take a um the enchanted map oracle because what do maps do they show you direction so let's see if we can get some direction going on for you here my lovely sagittarius that was too many let's try that again They, they want you to have three. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Okay. So yeah, come together. We have come together. So again, it's connectivity. It's that sense of love. It's that sense of coming together with loved ones, celebrating love, being connected. It's very much, it's very much based in this. And we have moonlight the hidden energies, the hidden, the unknown, the energy of the moon. And we have making a choice. There is a choice to be made. Okay, I am actually going to get you the full information out of the book because, you know, they, they threw three cards at me twice and they were the same three cards that they threw at me twice. So obviously that's what needs to be. Yeah, love needs to be shared. 
So this is this coming together card or come together card. Love needs to be expressed. Drawing the come together card is a sign that you're on the path to discover the nature of this motion, emotion in all its forms. Exactly what I was just saying. Um, in all its forms of expression. So romantic, familial, unconditional, spiritual. In each instance, there is another being involved. Love involves give and take between you and a significant other, a relative, a friend, an animal, and or spirit. This card assures you that love has come calling and seeks a partner in its dance. Know that you are cherished. Like a magnet, you're attracting love into your life. And this is the time for harmonious, caring partnerships. That's beautiful. Okay, so Moonlight. I've not actually drawn Moonlight before, but I'm guessing this has something to do with the uh, High Priestess energy here. Your intention allows you to see beyond the mundane, logical and analytical. So follow it. Moonlight beckons. Come and trust your intuition to lead you into places that may not seem logical. Your hunches will be right on target. This is that temperance energy. Play with the energies. Resist second guessing yourself for your alternative perception is especially sharp right now. You can see beyond the surface of things and truly read between the lines. This is a good time to use oracle cards or other systems of divination to gain information. Remember that the language of intuition is a symbolic one. It comes subtly through a hunch, a tingling, a clear sound or an animal or object crossing your path. Spirit is sending you messages to help you now. Success is yours if you follow the signs. Again, this is coming back to that hermit energy, taking time to cut yourself off from um, from outside influences gives you that opportunity to connect and to to see those signs and to to follow those signs and to act on them but if you're not still long enough you know if your life is like this big whirlwind and you're constantly being bombarded with information overload then you know how can you see the signs so it's really important Okay, and the last one, making a choice. I don't need to read this one. I know what this one is. Um, making a choice. You know, you, you may feel like you've come to a bit of a fork in the road right now. Like you have a decision that needs to be made. And again, you're being asked to follow your instincts, to trust, to, to go where you are led to go. And know that whatever you do, you know, until you take that first step, you're not going to know how it feels to go in that direction. Because, you know, unless you travel on the road, you're not going to know where it leads. So it's encouraging you to trust your instincts, trust your in intuition and saying that, um, that yes, take those steps. Because until you make a choice, until you um, choose which path to travel on, you're not going to know how that feels. And there are no wrong choices. You know, if you start going in a direction that you feel is not right, that you feel is, is not for you, then you can always turn around and take a different path. You know, so that's, that's what the making a choice is about. It's very interesting for you this month, Sagittarius. I'm going to take a wisdom of the hidden realms. I'm giving you two on this one. Okay, so let's take a look. We have the word Lord, communication, praise, dishonesty. Mm. So be honest with yourself, with others. Communication is key. It is important that come together thing, that communicating with love, communicating with your higher self, with your spirit, with your loved ones. Um, and praise, praise is really important. Praise is, is good. It's good to praise yourself. 
as well as praising others for a job well done. You know, uh, an attaboy goes an awful long way to making somebody feel their value and feel their sense of worth. And be honest, you know, use your words in a truthful manner, not to deceive. And yeah, we have the dream walker, dreams, the collective good and illusions. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to those things that come in in that state akin to sleep. So when you're in a meditative state or when you are when you are just dropping off to sleep, those dreams hold messages. And the dream walker is here to say, you know, you you what you are doing, what you are discovering is for the collective good but don't be fooled by illusions. Okay, I'm gonna take a, do I want that one? Yeah, I'm gonna take a Magical Mermaids and Dolphins. And then I think I'll probably close the reading since you've had so many of the other cards. There we go. And we have Dream Big. Let go of small thoughts about yourself and see yourself succeeding. Exactly. Exactly that. Dream big. You can achieve it. You can have what you want, my lovely Sagittarius. And you are here for a good purpose. We all are, you know. So now is the time to start looking within and connecting. It's a really, it's just a beautiful energy this month for you. It's a beautiful energy of connectivity, of of going within, of discovering your purpose. And I'm really, I'm really loving this energy. I just feel that kind of, ooh, you know, <laughs> that kind of lovely and free and and just supported feeling. But there is in in this transition, you remember whenever you you ascend to a higher level, whenever you go through something, there will be things that you have to shed and sometimes that can hurt and that's that ten of swords. Sometimes it can feel painful. But just remember to breathe through it, play with those energies and enjoy the journey and find that sense of balance within yourself to connect to love, to connect to your higher power, to just be full. Okay. If you want to delve deeper into this or if you have any other questions, you can always contact me for a personal reading. You just need to fill out the form on my website, um, which is linked in the description box below. But until next time, please do remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Your support is very much appreciated. Namaste. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>